Welcome to NYC Live at Fashion Week. We're here featuring the 2019 Spring Collections. We have designers from all around the globe, and we can't wait to jump in. So what do you say? We get started. Back to NYC Live at Fashion Week. I'm Jean-Bierre Chappelle, and alongside me is Heather Daughtry from House of Daughtry. I'm actually wearing one of her pieces, and I am so thrilled. I love the color. But more importantly, I love the fit. So I wanted to ask you, what was your initial inspiration? Because I know as, as a designer, sometimes it can change over time. But how did you come up with this dream dress? Well, when I traveled to China, I was so inspired by the kimono print and just the beautiful fabrics and textures and the dr dramatic feel of the dresses they had. So that was my original inspiration for it, it was several years ago. Now, rumor has it that this is wrinkle-free. Yes, it is. That's what's so nice about it because you can pack it in a suitcase, it travels well, um, you can do so much stuff with this dress, and you can wash it and dry it. You don't have to take it to the dry cleaner. So it's Initially, when I saw this dress, I thought it had a very, um, almost like a luxury resort type of feel. But then I saw one of your models with heels, with full makeup, and I'm like, I would wear that dress to a special occasion. I mean, seriously, you could make this dress a red carpet yeah. dress. So just talk about the diversity. Yes, well, so speaking of diversity, I did have a client who was um, thinking of using these dresses for bridesmaids dresses. Yeah, so it really shows that you can have them to wear if you put on flip-flops, take your children to the grocery store, whatever, run errands, or you can actually also use this dress as bridesmaids dress evening. I've worn it to weddings before, got so many compliments, yes. Well, congratulations. I can't wait to see you in action on the runway. Check out House of Daughtry. Your Instagram's House of Daughtry. It's the dream dress. And there's more when we return to NYC Live at Fashion Week. We're back at NYC Live at Fashion Week. I have alongside me Angela Drayden. She's in one of the dresses from House of Daughtry. Now, I understand you are like the House of Daughtry number one fan. Oh, yes. Yes. You met Heather at another fashion event yes. in Los Angeles. Yes. You sought her out via Instagram. Right. And were in love with the dress. I am absolutely in love. And how many dresses do you have? At right least now? 13. That is amazing. <laughs> 13. So you definitely are a fan. Oh, yes. And the nice thing is not one dress looks the same because of the print right but yet it really is the same pattern right so first what got you hooked you know I'm a, I'm a business owner I'm a mom I do volunteer work um, I'm just really busy so I need something that's gonna save me time I need versatility in a dress and my weight fluctuates I'm a woman so I need a dress that is gonna fluctuate with my I can wear one size literally gain 10 pounds lose 10 pounds it looks great on any figure if I'm skinny it makes me feel skinny if yeah. I'm heavier it makes me feel skinny <laughs> I'm always skinny that is a dream dress <laughs> it's a dream dress yeah and the versatility I can go from running errands in my flip-flops in the morning I can put on a blazer go to a work meeting and then I can go out put on heels and earrings and red lipstick and I can go to a dinner it's literally literally the dream dress oh my God. yeah now this one's great is this part of the spring collection this is yeah yeah so I call this the fire <laughs> it does yeah it does look like fire yeah. okay so check her Instagram out house of Daughtry it's the dream dress and she's in San Diego California um, you're in San Diego so that was easy for you to yes. find her yes. but for those of you who are not she's very easy to find reach out to her and have your custom dream dress made soon all right we'll be back with more from NYC at Fashion Week are back at NYC Live at Fashion Week with pop star Aaron Paul. Yay. You are looking amazing. Oh, thank you, thank you, Pete. It's so it's good. Look, look, look at you, the pink. Thank you. Well, everyone, everyone knows that I always sparkle, you know, and I'm larger than life. I love it. You are larger than life. <laughs> but you have something even larger than life happening in two weeks. Two, the brand Come new album. Us. The brand new brand album, album, Dance, yeah. Um, it features the brand new single I have out with um, the legendary hip-hop um, legend, Dr. Dre. Nice. So, like, I'm the first kind of LGBT artist okay. who's out who okay. actually um, has collaborated with a hip-hop legend. Yeah. So I kind of made history with that. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Um, I got the book. 
Let, let's talk about the book. This is really interesting. So you have um, a little conservative here, but then we got some... All is revealed on the other side. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you reveal in this book? Joe, it's my journey. You know, I started with Simon Cowell in, in a boy band called Worlds Apart. Uh, we had huge hits all over Europe. Mm -hmm. I came over here to start my solo career. Okay. Kind of took a break for a while because it didn't quite happen. And then fast forward, fast forward, here I am now yeah. as a solo artist. America is embracing me. You know, I've, got, I've had a couple of, I had a number one solo record with um, I Don't Care, which is the book is named after. Okay. So the book just kind of outlines my journey, you know, from Simon's day for, as a kid performing to Simon Cowell to present day. Are there suggestions and tips for oh, artists, yeah. up-and-coming artists? Okay. I wrote it as a guide and, and as a gateway to anyone that's struggling with themselves uh, and also okay as a you know tips and things to navigate through this industry nice. so there's lots of hot tips I and things I cannot wait to read this oh, people but love it more importantly i cannot wait till your album drops oh, thank can you, you give us like a little tidbit of what we'll hear uh, we've got the new lessons um, i got lessons there you go oh. <laughs> Yeah, you whet our appetite. Okay, where can people find you? You can find me all over social media. Um, my Instagram, at Aaron Paul Music. Um, Twitter, at A Paul Music. And Facebook, Aaron Paul. Nice. There you go, Aaron So Paul. great to have you. Oh, NYC you. Live Pleasure. here at Fashion Pleasure. Week. Oh, Congratulations, my thank dear. You, thank you. Welcome to NYC Live at Fashion Week. I'm here with Franklin Rowe from Franklin Rowe International, a men's and women's fashion designer. How exciting. Yes, it is. Yes, it is, Jean B. A lot of designers here are just showing one or the other. I know. But you're doing men's and women. Now, how many looks are we going to see tonight? At least 15. At least 15. Oh, no, okay. 16. You might surprise us with some extras, mm, right? Maybe. So you're native to New York. Yes. And rumor has it that you were actually planning on being a car designer but chose the fashion route instead let's talk about that because that actually um you know goes hand in hand a bit right there are some same influences but from the designer himself what made you choose fashion over automotive well my sister is six foot tall okay. and at that time she was a perfect size six so I uh, used to cut up my mother's coats and her leathers and her beavers and design things for her on paper and have our local seamstress make it up. And then I could always draw, so I drew something, she had it made, and it made sense when I was like 10 or 12 years old. That's young. Yeah, and then I started sketching and my sister started selling my sketches to local boutiques. And then they would be in the window the next week. And I'm like, I have something here. Okay. So then my uh, junior high school biology teacher saw me sketching my new wardrobe in my head. Okay. And he didn't scold me about doing my biology lesson. Right. He asked me to try to be a fashion designer. And I asked him, how do I do it? And so he gave me a list of specialized high schools. He took tests to get into. And I chose the High School of Music and Art, where a lot of famous people have, have gone, and, and I was accepted. And then I won an international scholarship to Trap Hagen School of Fashion, which is a private uh, academy on Park Avenue. And uh, Jeffrey Bean went there, and Mary McFadden, and I'm listed as one of their prestigious alumni, and that's an honor to me. Franklin, I just have to say that it takes one person in life to believe in you. And in your case, I'm sure you have many, but in this case, your biology teacher pushed you to the next level. Mr. Jacobs, and do you ever see him to this day? Uh, he left after that year to become a mortician in the South. Well, okay. And with Facebook and Instagram, I'm gonna find him. I hope is, he gets to see you. Okay? I want him to see me. Yeah. Because he was you young, this. he was young, he was a young okay. teacher, so I'm no, you know. But he got you. He got me. He got you and he recognized he, some talent. Yep, yeah, he did. That. Now, let's switch gears a little bit and talk about what we're going to see today on the runway. Well, my whole, I, I want to do glamorous menswear. Okay. Sexy, masculine, glamorous menswear. I'm into that. And the fabrics I chose were Italian stretch leather, okay. suede, window pane leather, pinhole leather, uh, some hardware, interesting cuts fitted. We use Swarovski crystals. We have some Fox. I use white suede. I, I went Lux. Sounds expensive. It's expen but it's 
what men need, an alternative to a, a suit sure. and a tie or a corduroy or a khaki. Yeah. Yeah. I like masculine, sexy clothing. And Franklin, that's what I offer. give our viewers your website because I think you really whet their appetite and I want them to go there right now. Okay, go to Franklin Row International NYC at IG and you can see a preview of what you're going to see tonight. Okay, good. Just a preview. Just a preview. Okay, you guys, we know we whet your appetite. Definitely check out his site, especially for you men. I mean, yes. We women would love women to see you in that. Too. That's true, that's true. Congratulations <laughs> on all your you. success. Thank, thank you so much for thank taking you, the time. I appreciate you. Thank you. The NYC Live at Fashion Week. We have Franklin Rowe with us. Franklin, I understand that you have been showing your collections at NYC Live yes, yes. for a while now. Yes. And I understand that you love Michael I and love you like love how he works. Yes, I do. So let's talk about that. Why would you choose NYC Live with all the other events that are happening? Meticulous organization. Always important. And that that's what gets me because okay. if something is organized and I feel taken care of, mm. I'm very happy. And that's the key. Um, I I love creating fashion, okay. but I do not. I've done over ten thousand fashion shows in my career. Really? Around around the United States okay. and the Caribbean. Okay. And so, if I'm going to do a show during Fashion Week, it has to be special, yep. and it has to be something that I'm going to get something out of and enjoy doing at the same time. Well, you summed it up. So, for designers who are looking for someone to showcase, in. come on in. Okay, you guys, you, the proof is in the pudding. So check out NYC Live at Fashion Week. Amen. Welcome back to NYC Live at Fashion Week. I'm here with Kieran from Elevate. I am just in love with these clutches. Thank you so much. Handcrafted, bold colors, all the way from Malaysia. Does yes. it get better than that? Nope. <laughs> I don't think it does. And only tonight you get to see our latest spring summer 2019 collection. Only tonight. I'm so excited. Well, let's fast forward a little bit. When are you launching it in boutiques or online? We hope to find some partners in the US. So if you're listening to us right now, contact us okay. immediately. Yes, we would like to come to this market. Yeah. But I understand you are in a boutique currently. Yes, we are in a departmental store in Malaysia. It's called Robinsons in Kuala Lumpur. Yeah, so if you're in Malaysia or you're in Singapore, you can get any of our collections in Robinsons, okay. Kuala Lumpur. And of course online, right? Yes, we have our own uh, online store at www.elevateshine.com. That's easy to remember, elevateshine.com. That's right, that's right. So what was your inspiration for the spring collection? Okay, inspiration for spring collection uh, would be um, the nature, would be nature, yeah. Um, I like to just sit by myself and draw when it's all quiet, when the kids are away asleep, or when it's raining and it's beautiful out there. Like this one was inspired by me just sitting in a corner and it was just about to rain and the leaves were just flying down, you know, away from the trees. Yes, and so I got that immediately on paper and this is it. I love it. So what's the name of this clutch? Uh, this is a Sonia, Sonia Oblong. Uh, Sonia, yeah, Sonia is uh, my daughter's, my eldest daughter's name. It's her second name. So this collection is named after her, Sonia. Oh, that's so special. Thank you. You know, I was looking through your catalog and uh, everything is so quality. And yes. I thought to myself, for sure, the price point is going to be in the thousands. I almost had a heart attack when I found out it was not. Yes. So talk about the price point because it's actually very reasonable yes. um, when you compare it to the work that's being put into it. You are absolutely right. Currently we are retailing it. If you can see us tonight, it's retailing at 180 at most. At most, that's yeah, amazing. that's amazing. Yeah. yeah, for this and for many of the other clutches, which is all handcrafted. Every single uh, sequence you see here. I would say get yours very fast <laughs> yes. because it will not stay at that price point very long, especially Absolutely. as soon as it hits this market. Yes. It's every piece was something that I would want in my wardrobe, whether Thank it's so something. Much, it's so nice to hear. <laughs> or something for work, something yes. for um, going out to a special occasion. I Rocky. love the power, or, you know, it's like a powerhouse clutch. Yes. I'm, I'm renaming your clutch, by the way, <laughs> to the, yeah, the powerhouse clutch. It was clutch. meant for a, for a woman of today. 
day. Someone, someone who is um, in her suit, um, heading towards the office, who has an after-office event, and that's what you would want her yeah. to carry. You know, something which is elegant and something would elevate her her outfit. Yes. I love that. I love how you tied in the elevate. Very good, very good. Thank now, you. I understand that your background is in law. Yes, that's right. Let's that's talk right. about that. Let's talk about the transition from law to fashion design. Okay. I've always been artistically inclined, oh, okay. okay? But I also enjoyed law. So um, when an opportunity arose to leave uh, law, I seized this opportunity and I decided that, you know what, let's do something that I'm very passionate about. And this happened, Elevate was created. Elevate, Elevate okay, was I have a, an important question. Were you prepared? Did you have maybe a portfolio that you had been working on or was your mind already kind of going in that direction or was it just a total leap of faith? Total leap of faith. Wow. Total leap of faith. Okay. So I left my job, went on a really long holiday came back, did some research, and I said, I'm doing this. That's amazing. Yes. You do not hear of that very often. Yes, you're absolutely right. But Congratulations. Of course, but of course, I have a very, very supportive family. My okay. husband has been incredible, and he's the one who pushed me. He said, do this. Very good. Do this. Thank here. you, husband. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Kevin. <laughs> very good. Well, congratulations. You. Um, tonight is going to surely be a success for you. Give us your website one more time. Yes. Elevate, uh, www.elevateshine.com or you can uh, find us on Instagram, elevate.shine. All right, you guys, make sure to check out elevateshine.com and we'll be back with more from NYC Live at Fashion Week. Two, we're here NYC Live at Fashion Week. I'm jean vieux Chappelle alongside Devon Johnson from Fashion in the Fast Lane, baby. I love I, that name. I love your name. Could you say your name again? jean vieux It's oh, French. I love yeah. It. jean vieux from Fashion in the Fast Lane. <laughs> yeah. How about that, huh? You look fabulous tonight and thank you for joining us. So okay. tell me all about your fabulous life. Okay, so where do I start? Um, okay, so Fashion in the Fast Lane is a multimedia company. Okay. We have several tiers. One of which is uh, we have a talk show called Fashion Etc., okay. which we are actually doing interviews tonight as well. I saw that. Yeah. It's streaming live, right? Yes. That's yes. amazing. Yep. And we also have a magazine, a high fashion magazine. It's FITFL, which is the initials for Fashion Ooh. The I initials. had a little accident for, Yes. Here. <laughs> the initials for Fashion in the Fast Lane. Okay. Um, I'm is also, it online? It is online. Okay, perfect. Um, you can get it on Max. Com. Yeah, give that, give us Yes, you can find it on maxer.com, FITFL Magazine. And we also, I do red carpet correspondence, okay. so I do a lot of what you do. Yeah, I saw you. You, you looked fabulous doing your interviews. Oh, thank yeah, you. and people seemed very comfortable with you. Yes. I mean, they probably a lot of people know you because you're here local in New York, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah I'm actually, I live in Jersey, but a lot of our work and stuff is done here in New York. It's a small world in the fashion industry, right? Yes, and it's quicker to get to New York from New Jersey, believe it or not. I hear that. Yes, yeah. um, and I'm also a wardrobe stylist, so I do some of that, and I'm an author. Very good. Talk about your book. Well, my latest book, it's called Mirror, Mirror. Okay. It's my second book. The first one is called Love Yourself First, okay. both, of, both of which are on Amazon and in Barnes & Nobles. And they're about the fashion industry. Yeah. They're, they're novels, and they're very exciting and fun. Do you give us some inside secrets? Oh, um... In the book, what's their appetite? Um, it's, it's a cross between... The devil, it's, it's a devil wears product sort of situation, but it's also like a lot of drama and and okay. suspense and all that good stuff. Hey, maybe we'll see a reality too. show out of this. Yes, future, yes, right? possibly, yeah, possibly. I can see that. Yes. The real fashion in the fast lane. Yes, the real fashion <laughs> in the fast lane. <laughs> Thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us oh, today. Seriously. Now, give us your website one more time. Where can people find out more about you and then by extension your book as well? Yes, okay, so uh, my website is Fash, oh, excuse me, DelvonJohnson.com. That's D-E-L-V-O-N Johnson.com. And then for our um, business stuff, it's uh, FashionETCTV.com. And my Instagram is Fashion in the Fast Lane. My, my book Instagram is Fabulous Book. And it's also on Twitter, Fabulous Book. And on Facebook, it's Delvon Johnson. And um, you can catch our show 
The show is streamed live every day from Monday through Friday at 12 to 1 p.m. So it's kind of a lunch sort of situation. You're at lunch, you're having your food, you want to kind of have a good giggle. We will definitely be tuning in. Monday through Friday on my page or on my um, co-host's page, okay. which is Yvonne Miss Diva Das Forbes. Look at that. We are just all full of your greatness now. Oh, thank, you. thank you so much for taking the time and congratulations on all your success. Oh, thank you so much. And I just adore your name. <laughs> <laughs> We're here NYC Live at Fashion Week with Krista Del Rosario. I think you're our youngest designer here, so congratulations, one, for that. Two, this is her first time showcasing in New York, all the way from Los Angeles. That is a huge accomplishment and very exciting. My first question to you is, what was your inspiration for this collection? Um, I just really like all of formal dresses, formal outfits. So when I see people on other runway shows, mm -hmm. it's just like, oh, I want to try and do that too. Yeah. And so I figured out, I bought my own sewing machine, then I moved on from there, and slowly I got to this point. Very good. You're like a mini entrepreneur. I love that. When did you feel that fashion, that was the industry that you were going to go towards, or that you were inclined to do um, things with fabric and sewing? And well, I've also I've always been like into the fashion thing okay. since I was little. When I was little, I was growing up into like with getting purses, uh -huh. getting all these fancy clothes and everything. Really? So Very nice. Who's your biggest supporter? My parents. Your parents. Come here, mom. A special guest here. Let's introduce your mother. Okay, you can go stand actually right by your daughter. Thank you. So, when Krista first voiced her interest in doing something with fashion design, what did you think? Did you think, oh, I don't know if we want to get all into that? Or? I really was just, she wanted to try it, let's give it a try. Good. So that's that. what she did. So everything she wants to try, as long as she puts in the effort, I'm okay with it. So. You know, it's interesting because a lot of fashion designers will hire other people to sew, but you said you started out sewing your own. Most, no, pretty much all of them. All of them I sewed myself. That is amazing. What's your favorite piece? Do you have one favorite piece? It will be my finale piece. Your finale piece. So we'll look forward to seeing that. Congratulations to both of you. This is very nice to have you here at NYC Live at Fashion Week. We're here at NYC Live at Fashion Week. I have Crystal and Krista Del Rosario. I wanted to ask you why you chose NYC Live to showcase your collection. My biggest concern with Krista is her age and how young she is, and I wanted to make sure that the person I brought her to to do this was not going to exploit her because of her age. I wanted somebody who would take care of her and show her the right parts of this industry. I work in this industry with travel and it's a lot that happens and you, as you know lately there's a lot going on. William Michael Reed has taken extremely close care of her, making sure nobody's you know, showing her anything bad, They're, everybody has been great with her. <laughs> Yeah, uh, for someone your age, you didn't look very overwhelmed, and that tells me that she feels safe. So how did you feel about the communication from the time you decided to book the show up till today? He, William Michael Reed has constantly assured me everything will be fine, Crystal will be highly taken care of, nothing to worry about with her, and it's been exactly that. Do you feel taken care of? Yes. Okay, good, good. Well, thank you so much for taking the time, ladies. We really appreciate it. And stay with us because there's more from NYC Fashion Week. Me too. Welcome back to NYC Live at Fashion Week. I'm with Arena Chaviz from Chaviz Couture, all the way from Russia. How exciting. Well, first of all, you look absolutely amazing. Thank and you. your models, I don't even know where to begin. There's so <laughs> many pieces. It's so stunning. Thank Let me you. ask first, what is the inspiration behind the spring collection? Um, actually, a lot of things came to my head when I sleep, my yeah. dreams. And I, I can wake see. up and I start to draw. <laughs> Very, that was a perfect explanation because this looks like a dream. Yeah. Something in like maybe um, 
Alice in Wonderland meets medieval times? Yes, it is. It's oh, kind of... Did I get it? Yes, you're right. <laughs> okay, Absolutely, good, good. yes. What's your favorite piece of these three? I never have a favorite. I like okay. everything. It's what's who I am. I like everything. <laughs> and when you're sketching the piece, um, are you coming up with a story in your head? Is there a story of Absolutely. where they are? Every my piece uh, have a story. It's how I made it first story enough to make a piece. Mm -hmm. It's how mm -hmm. I try to, people can see behind the dress. Mm -hmm. And I think it's more cool, you know, because just a dress, um, ready to wear, I love designers who made it ready to wear sure. dresses, but avant-garde, I don't know. I, I just, out of me, it's, it's just, very one of yes, it's, it's in your blood. It's in my life. Mm. It's what I said before in the interview. I'm burned with couture. <laughs> I love that. I love that. That should it's, be your, your yes, tagline. Yes, it's it's actually it is like prison couture. I yeah, always said. <laughs> So tell me what we're going to see. I mean, obviously we see a lot here, but is there something else that we're going to see um, on the runway that yes, maybe absolutely. we have never seen anywhere else? I hope so. I hope so too. I hope so. Uh, I try to do my best, and on top of the best, I try more of best. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, I, I just hope that people will love it and see something different inspiration and enjoy the time because I'm very impressed they come to see yeah. my collection and other designers' collections. Mm -hmm. So. Can you tell us where we can see more as far as maybe your Instagram or website? Absolutely. It's uh, um, Instagram, Madame Chibis or Chibis Couture. Mm -hmm. You can be there. And uh, Irina Chibis Couture, hotmail.com. It's my um, web email. email. Mm -hmm. And uh, Chibis Couture, it's my website. Very so good. you Very can good. see my designs, the beautiful girls, top models, there. And uh, um, a lot of things There's over there. So much to look over. You definitely have to check out her website and hopefully even make it out to one of her shows because seeing this in person, there's nothing like it. It's absolutely fabulous. Thank, Thank you. you so much for taking Thank the time and coming all the way from Russia to NYC Live. Thank you so much. Stick with us because we have much more to show you at NYC Live from Fashion Week. Welcome back to NYC Live at Fashion Week. I'm here with Kenny Kaz all the way from Harlem, a true local. I mean, you blew the doors off. You oh, blew the you. doors off. It's so sweet. Thank you. The first thing I want to talk about, because I think that our viewers are going to think this is very interesting, is your background. I mean, I, I had the, the honor and the privilege and just God's blessing to be able to understudy under East St. Laurent. You know, that was that was like a life-changing situation, as you can imagine. Yeah. And then, you know, just a lot of opportunities being the first African-American male couture designer that was in Saks Fifth Avenue. It and doesn't just, get better than that. It hey, doesn't get hey, better than hey. that. But like you know, you reach, you re that was a momentous. No, that was a life-changing moment. Life-changing yeah. moment. You could have stopped there and right. it would have been fine. Right. But you continued on. Absolutely. Let's I mean, I love that. it. I love what I do. Yeah. It's in my blood. That's my wife, my mistress, my girlfriend, my everything. <laughs> so that was amazing. You know, this is a, a perfect gift that God has given me. And I really just want to share with the world and just kind of encourage people not to give up your dreams and just keep keep going because God is good. He is. All the me? time, man. Let's talk about the inspiration behind this spring collection. So this collection here was really Milan meets Harlem. Yeah. Harlem brings in the swag. And then that. we take that 95 drive up into the DMV. <laughs> And sprinkle a little bit of mumbo sauce okay. on it. <laughs> you and had, you and had you me from, to if, the DMV. If you're from D.C., you know what mumbo sauce is. <laughs> but you were talking about how Harlem really got you ready. Oh, no, absolutely, because D.C. raised me. Yeah. Harlem prepared me. Yeah. You know, they really gave me, like, that, that, that mentality, never give up, grind, keep going, 24 hours, that hustle mentality. And, and I, I love New York for that. Like, I could never get that out of my system. People, in, people always say, yo, you definitely not from D.C. I can feel that you all the energy and running around, the models looking at me crazy like I'm just running around and stuff. But I love it, though. I love it's it. True, I love true. it. Let's talk about the fabric choices yeah, for this collection. Um, the finishes? Thank you so immaculate. much. Immaculate. Well, that's, I owe that to East St. Laurent. I owe that to Oswald Boutin in London. Just really taking your time, learning your craft, knowing fabric, knowing textures. Like, that's the key. I always tell people who are getting in the game, don't rush to be known 
take your time to last for a long time, you know? That is a wonderful piece of advice. Yeah, absolutely. Because everybody wants it quick. They want yeah. it fast. But you know what? If it goes, if it comes in quick, it's going to go quick. Absolutely. Yeah. And that's my slogan. Don't rush to be known. Take your time to be remembered. I love that. I love that. Okay. How many pieces? Because I lost count because I was just so in awe looking at how so everything all quiet, was. So I was only supposed to do a certain amount. Oh, <laughs> but oh I threw some sorry. But we snuck okay. some in there. We, we you know what? You there. were a crowd favorite. Oh, thank so you. I don't thank think we you mind. So much. <laughs> <laughs> right? I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you so well, much my, for taking the time. My, my family. Oh, yeah, so Kaz, I know that everyone is going to want to take a look at your website, at your Instagram, at your Facebook. Give our viewers uh, your website first. So my website is Kenny Kaz Custom. I have two Instagrams. I have Kenny Kaz underscore custom, okay. and I have Kaz Lifestyle. And then you can catch me on um, Facebook, Kaz Collection LLC. Okay, that's easy to remember. Yeah. All right, you guys. Well, there's more to come from NYC Live at Fashion Week. Kaz, thank you so much. No, thank you so much. much. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. NYC Live at Fashion Week. We're here with Kenny Kaz. It's a little loud. Everyone's excited about what right, they just right. saw, right? Know, right? The energy is high. It's like you really just got that room, like, lit it on fire. I appreciate I love it. that. Thank you. You know, but I have a personal question for you. Um, I understand that you've been in the business for a long time. Why did you choose NYC Live to showcase? Well, first and foremost, uh, Mike is very persistent, yeah. if you know him. Yeah. He's very, very persistent. But he was just like, you know, man, I saw your collection. I really want you involved. I really want you here. Yeah. want you to show. And then just, you know, inspire others to be like, hey, he started here. Look where he is with persistency and, and just believing in your product and taking your time. It can all pay off. And this is me giving back, appreciating, and never forgetting where I came from. I love that. Communication is very important with these types of events because a lot could go wrong real fast. Absolutely. I want to know how you felt about the communication from the time Michael reached out to you until today. Well, I'm going to tell you, Michael throws a lot of emails <laughs> and a lot of texts. I couldn't even keep up with half of them. So thank God I had a staff that could relate because he, he was very boom, 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 boom. I get so, those emails too, so Michael. As far, as far as his persistency, he gets an A plus from me, man. <laughs> well, the communication was consistent yeah. then. And he was yeah. very accommodating. Good. Yeah, he was very accommodating. He made sure that we were taken care of, yeah. you know, and I appreciate that. Yeah, each designer is different. They all have their own needs. Did you feel like your needs were taken care of? Absolutely. Plus, I have a staff. Yeah, that helps. So that helps a lot. But, you know, a lot of designers are coming in from other countries, exactly. and they don't have a staff. Exactly. But it was, a, it was very... Uh, what should I say? It was very family oriented back there. Everybody was respecting one another. Okay. They were willing to help out, which I think is good. Because, and that's what, that's yeah. what designers are going to want to yeah. know that. So you heard it from Because it's Kenny not Kat. always like that. It's hardly ever like right. that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that was good, though. No, it was good. That it was, was good. nice to hear. No. All right. So if you're an upcoming designer or a designer in the area or even another country, we'd love to have you showcase at NYC Live at Fashion Week. NYC Live at Fashion Week. I have Heather Daughtry with House of Daughtry and the Dream Dresses. Your show was amazing. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you. Okay, so let's just talk about your experience, how you're feeling right now. I mean, the crowd was going crazy. Yes. Yeah, I feel amazing. It was so much fun, and I just, you have this vision, and then it finally comes to light, and yes. you get to see it down the runway, and the response of the audience was amazing as well. I did not realize how many House of Daughtry fans were in the audience until people were, like, standing and clapping and dancing. And now I have tons more, which is amazing. <laughs> which is great. I understand you have a special guest that flew in all the way from Texas. Yes. Yes. Dad. This is my dad. This is Forrest Clearman. Forrest Clearman, meet Heather's father, everybody. Congratulations. You must be so proud. I am very proud of her. Uh, I knew at an early age that uh, she was very creative. Uh, she's always been able to set goals and accomplish her goals. Uh, she was got married and was a mother and a, and a wife, and she always held on to her dream. And so here we are tonight. So. That's so inspiring. I'm so glad you brought that up because, you know, we didn't talk about that, that Heather actually went to fashion school and then she got married and became a mother. So, 
you know, that was a little speed bump because like a good mother, you focused on your family, but you never forgot your no. dream. No. no. About that. Yeah. That's inspiring for other designers. Yeah, and it's just something that I decided that I wanted to pursue still, and it was a 20-year-old dream that finally wow. came to light, and yeah. I'm so happy my dad and his yes. wife, Denise, came. Yes. So yes. nice. Yes. Did you have a favorite piece? Like, was there a fabric or a print that you really liked? I like what she's wearing right now. <laughs> me too, me too. Congratulations, Dad, and congratulations, Thank Heather. You. All right, you guys, more to come from NYC Live at Fashion Week. We are here at NYC Live from Fashion Week, and I'm alongside a very sought-after man, William Michael Reed, CEO and founder of NYC Fashion Week. I got to tell you, I was watching you, and I just couldn't keep up with you. You were like here and there, and I want to say congratulations on a beautifully orchestrated event. Thank you, Thank you very much. The common thread I heard from the designers was that the communication and the organization was the finest they had ever seen. Wow. My hat goes off to you. Thank you, kind. That means a lot. That means we this. know that that does not happen very it's often. It's a rarity, in this event. but I believe in strong communication. I believe in accurate information. And whether it be by email or text or even occasional call, preferably meeting an individual in person, I just let them know, like, look, I've been doing this since I was 16. I'm 50 years old as of today, my birthday. What? Yeah. I wanted to plan an event like this to take place three and a half years ago in 2015 when NYC Live was born yeah. in February 2015. I said, you know what? I wonder if Fashion Week will fall in line with my 50th birthday. And I checked the calendar. And it said Thursday, February, I mean, Thursday, September 13th. And I said, okay, let me do it. So after we did Valentine's Day earlier this year, yeah. right here, I said, all right, I told the, the building here, I said, give me September 13th. Again? I'm like, it's my birthday. It's big difference. And it's 50. So that's, that's what I want to do. a big number. Yeah. I will say, you don't even look close to 50. Well, so that's into my hat goes off to you for that I as well. I appreciate that. That means a lot. I understand that you're a very progressive man. Yes, um, so I want to know, what what did you notice was different with uh, the showcase at this event, maybe just opposed to just the last event you had? Well, for starters, uh, I just want to keep the show global. Uh, I like to acquire designers from both domestic versus, you know, just all domestic or just all global and not enough domestic. So it's just a matter of, trying to have a balance of regions, whether it be the Far East, the Middle East, Europe, whether it be South, I mean, Central, Eastern, or Euro, uh, Western Europe. I like to do parts of Northern Africa, South America, and the Caribbean, and don't even forget the South Pacific as well. You covered and, that. Yeah, in previous seasons, we've had Israel. Last season, we had Tel Aviv. We've had uh, uh, Bangladesh. We've had um, Thailand. Uh, we've had Korea. We had Venezuela last season. So we just try to keep it going where it's not a neighborhood show it's not a new york show it's in new york yeah. but it's a global show that happens to take place right off of 43rd and 5th avenue and that's that's hard to come i felt out. like you took me around the globe as i was watching both shows tonight thank you now that is a difficult job you had two shows yes ma'am most of the time we'll see eight nine designers in one show yes you did like double 19. time tonight 19 well when we were putting the show together back in march i wanted to kind of do a showcase where there's a story to be told. And when I was actually plotting out the schedule throughout the spring and even into the summer months, people were asking me, oh, can I start? Well, can I finish? Well, can I be in the middle? Can I do this? I said, Let me put the schedule together because I need to tell the story. It has to be a level of progression, not ups and downs, ups and downs, peak and valleys. So I said, all right, we pretty much had scaled down what we were going to do in terms of men's wear versus women's wear. I didn't want to have everything dominated like four or five designers in a row of one particular gender. So I was inserting certain caliber of designers, falling in line and letting them know when I lock you in that position, you're in that position. So one person was like, well, I don't want to be number six. I want to move up to number three. I'm sorry, number three is taken. And you know, it worked. Yes, ma'am. Like I said, it was beautifully orchestrated. Thank you. I was very impressed. Now, I want to talk about what you have planned for the future, because I know you are a forward thinker. We'll be right back here. September, I mean, uh, what's up, bud? We'll be right back here on February 12th, okay. uh, Tuesday, Fashion Week. And before then, 11 days earlier, we'll be in Atlanta for Super Bowl 53, which is on a Friday. Yeah, so I like doing NFL events. When we did the showcase here on Valentine's Day, I flew out to L.A. the next day to do L.A. the day after that. And that was a lot. That was a major undertaking. Charles knows all about it. But for this time, I want to kind of enjoy the time between now and, say, the end of October. And, of course, New York is a little bit more of an ease to put together. But between September and February, those are five months, whereas between February and September, there's seven. So, uh, but when I throw in the NFL event, 
uh, that's going to be a lot because now you got two shows within 11 days of each other, both in New York and Atlanta. Well, you've had a rest, boy. Yeah. And I want to make sure that we do it right. If there's a designer or somebody who wants to get involved in one of your next events, yes. where can they find you? Well, they can find me on either Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. My, my uh, tagline. Uh, well, NYC Live, yes, but also I go a lot by my actual name. So I abbreviate my first name as WM. Okay. Michael, spelled out as M-I-C-H-A-E-L. And my last name is Reed, R-E-I-D. So it's basically W-M-M-I-C-H-A-E-L-R-E-I-D at either Yahoo, Facebook, okay. Twitter, Instagram, and LinkedIn as well. All right, perfect. Well, thank you so much for taking the time. I know I'm stealing you away from a lot of other people okay, who want to talk okay. to you, but you guys definitely check them out at NYC Live at Fashion Week. Thank William you. Michael Reed, thank you so much and congratulations Thanks, again. Lady. I greatly appreciate it. Great job. I'm jean Vieve Chappelle, and I'm signing out from NYC Live at Fashion Week. To find out more about some of our future events, please check out NYC Live at Fashion Week on Facebook. And for now, I'll see you next time.